August 19, 2011, I was locked up in Kamau County Jail. I've never been in, in, in that serious of trouble before. Um, and I really didn't think it was going to be a big issue. But uh, at the end of it, when I was sentenced for 15 years, um, it became serious. Can't lie to you, I was afraid. In prison, you don't necessarily think about what we called uh, the free world. You have to be limited because of your emotions, because you become vulnerable uh, and people prey on those things in prison. At that time, all I was doing was just trying to survive. There, there are two aspects in there. You can either do it in a positive way or a negative way. And uh, I chose to do it in a positive way. <laughs> I was first introduced to Crosswalk City through a man named Charles Anderson. He actually worked on the unit that was my ID unit. So a lot of people knew him. And uh, when he says something, he did it. And to me, that spoke volumes because in prison, that's all we have. I knew I could rely on Crosswalk because of him. I'll take you into a unit so you can get the experience that gate closing behind you the first time. <laughs> There's the scripture that says that I did not give you the spirit of fear, but one of power, love, and the sound mind. Crosswalk gave that back to me because when I was afraid, different people here stepped up, encouraged me, motivated me, gave me a job, gave me a sense of, uh, of self-worth, you know, helping me to realize that I wasn't a number. <clears throat> that I was an individual, you know, that I was uniquely and wonderful, wonderfully made. You know, so I, I am grateful. Well, wow, my goodness. And Victor Martinez is currently working as a facility manager for Crosswalk Center. Here with more about Crosswalk Center is the executive director, Kathy Vosberg. Kathy, welcome to Houston Life. Thanks so much for your time today. We were chatting during the commercial break a moment ago, just saying how a lot of folks might not even consider the idea that once someone has a criminal record, it is so hard for them to break this cycle. But Crosswalk Center aims to change all that. Yes, we sure are working very hard to give second chances to the nearly 16,000 individuals that return to Houston and Harris County every year. And I think that's pivotal is we have to understand that these are people leaving prison and reintegrating into society. And in order to do that, they number one have to know that they matter and number one have to have some purpose. And I think that's what's so wonderful about the stories we heard Victor and, and when he had sort of that shift where you see him telling his story and he's mm -hmm. emotional um, and then he talks about crosswalk and he starts smiling so the emotions kind of go up and down what I think is so great too this is timely April is second chances month and mm -hmm. this is really your soapbox now to understand that these men and women deserve a second chance yes it's it's there's two things involved in this the the basic human needs um, that any of us would need when they come out they need safe and healthy housing which is very difficult to get when you have a felony record and living wage employment so they can bring themselves up and and take care of themselves financially as well as family and then of course there's typical things like clothing and food and their identification and transportation but even more than that that is the opportunity to get connected with community again, with people that really um, believe that we shouldn't be defined by what we did, but who we are originally intended to become. And so that's part of the, the heart and the ministry of Crosswalk is that we put the two things together. If we were just handing out the stuff, then we would be like a typical charity. And if we were just doing the touchy feely, then they wouldn't have what they need to elevate themselves and come out of um, basically the, the post-traumatic stress disorder and the stigmas of having been incarcerated for however many years. 
And Kathy, in reading some of these statistics, 70 million Americans with criminal records, talk to us just a little bit about what typically happens to someone with a criminal record who tries to, as you mentioned, not just get a job, but even finding housing can be tough. Without programs like these, what are the options? There really aren't very many options unless um, you find companies and employers that are willing to give individuals a second chance at work. And I will tell you, our clients are fast becoming the most loyal, hardworking um, employees that a company could hire. Housing is very difficult inside the inner city right now for anybody that is a service worker or someone that's in um, the upper uh, lower income or lower middle income uh, because the housing is getting expensive. But you overlay that with a felony record and let's say a 12 to $15 an hour job, which is living wage at the lowest and it is very, very difficult for them to find a safe and healthy place to live. Quite mm -hmm. often they go back to neighborhoods where it's very difficult to pull themselves out of old lifestyles and old ways of being. So we're here to protect them. And Crosswalk Center is really making a difference in the community. Let's talk about uh, the Changes and Chances event that you have coming up. Yes, that's this Friday night, um, April 9th, and it's going to be at the Houston City Place Marriott at Springwoods Village. Our keynote speaker is Representative James White. He served on the Corrections Committee for the state of Texas, and he's got extensive experience in things that uh, pertain to restorative justice and uh, the corrections uh, world. So we're excited to have him come speak. We have nearly uh, 100 folks uh, registered to come. If you're interested, you can go to our website or call us at our uh, main number and request to be put on the guest list. Well, Kathy Vosberg, thanks so much for your time and all the work that you do for Crosswalk Center. Thank you for having us. And again, that event on Friday is free for anyone who would like to register to learn more. Just visit HoustonLife.tv. Everyone certainly deserves a second chance.